how do I even start this? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you've never been here before, hello, my name is Grace. Usually on the channel, we talk about realistic ways to live your happiest, most intentional life. And lately for me, that has been minimalism and decluttering. And today we are back with another minimalism decluttering episode. And I am not necessarily committing to a 10 item wardrobe, but I will be theorizing a 10 item wardrobe. So I'm gonna be going through all my stuff and seeing how close to one we can get because I feel like at the end of the day, that is my goal. Yes, it does sound really extreme, but if you've watched any videos about it, it's not as extreme as you think because it's like 10 to 15 items that are core items and then you get extras and blah, blah, blah. I'll probably be explaining throughout this video what I've learned about it so far, but let's see if we can try. So step number one is get all of my clothes out in the open. So that will be humbling, let's see. I'm scared. <laughs> everything so that is, is that it really I was like there's no way I still have my skirts and shorts so there's some shorts sleep shorts workout shorts okay leggings I think that's it and then I'm putting in all the stuff that I need to tailor or fix as well. All right, now this is all the clothing I own, which honestly, that's not too bad. It is on my bed and it's like a pretty flat layer across my bed. I'm like honestly shocked. There might be a couple things in the laundry. Let me just go check. Okay, so I went through the laundry bin and my like bags in my closet that have a couple of things that I need to like fix and stuff. I have put it all out on the bed, as you can see. So, I mean like, it's not that bad. I think I can do something with this. I'll do one small bag of stuff that needs to be like washed and donated and then one large bag of stuff that is just straight up gonna be donated. So essentially the goal of this video today is to work my way towards a 10 item wardrobe and to explain this to those of you who are not super familiar with a 10 item wardrobe, 10 items is not like the only amount of things that you're allowed to own. It's like 10 core items that you grab for and wear kind of like on a rotation and they're your kind of staples that you wear. And then you can have like extras and stuff. I think kind of part of the reason why this wardrobe spawned is because they want people to like look nice and professional and whatever. I'm just not that kind of girly. Like <laughs> I am not in the trying to look professional kind of lifestyle. I don't care that I like dress my age. I'm 24 so I don't have to look very fancy or professional necessarily because it's also just not required for my job. So I don't need to have all of that going on, but I do need to figure out the core pieces that I'm gonna wear as staples and basics. So let's see if we can't narrow this down. Welcome to my mountain. I literally don't even know where to start. Oh my God. Oh, I instantly regret this, but that's just the shopaholic in me that's trying to cling for dear life. Okay, 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 okay. What is in this bag again? Stuff that I'm gonna wash and then donate because there's this tiny pile over here is stuff that's actually dirty, but I wanted to bring it out so that I could like see what's going on, but it's in its own pile because I don't want it to get over all the clean clothes. 
Anyways, um, okay, let's try to narrow down what the 10 core pieces are gonna be. I don't even know where to start. Okay, I guess let's start with the pants. I love these jeans. They've had a rip in the crotch for like a year or two. Probably more actually, that is such a lie. It's probably been many more than two years. And I love them. I need to get them fixed like post haste so that I could actually start wearing them again because I love these jeans. So I'm gonna get these fixed and they will be a part of my, the thing, okay, side note. The thing about 10 item wardrobes is, it depends on where you live to make it happen for you. So I'm gonna have a 10 item wardrobe for summer, spring and a 10 item wardrobe for fall, winter. And most people that live in places that have extreme weather like I do in New York, they have two wardrobes, 10 core items for the warmer months and then 10 core items for the cooler months. And then obviously there's the extras. Just wanted to put that out there. So this will be for my cold 10 item wardrobe. Where do I even put this? Stuff here for now. These are good pants to wear during the winter though. So maybe this should be one of my core items. Okay, another core cold item. That's already two. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty much battling if I even want to keep these at this point. I barely wear these pants. I really barely wear them. They're gonna go in the donate pile. They were great pants. And I loved them, but I just don't wear them anymore. Okay, donate. These are a nice pair of like nicer jeans. They're like more fit and flare. So this will definitely be a core item. I feel like all I'm doing is jeans right now. How many pairs of pants? Whatever. These ones for sure. I would love to get them tailored as well, but for now I probably won't. These ones. I don't wear these as often as I wear the other ones. I reach for them last out of all of my jeans. So I think I'm gonna get rid of them. They're like good enough jeans, they're good enough, but good enough isn't good enough anymore. You know what I mean? Okay, and then these are one of my favorite jeans. I reach for them all the time. They just fit me really well, and I like them a lot. There, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I'm gonna say these pants will be my summer pants because honestly, they're a lot lighter and they don't keep me warm at all, so. They will be for summer, you know? What's happening? You got this, Grace. Focus, focus. Winter, that's what we're doing. Okay, ah, get it together. This is far too thin for winter, so I'm actually gonna put it in my summer thing. I don't know if that's gonna consider itself an extra or not because I genuinely don't reach for it all the time. Like I said, I am not Fancy. Maybe it could just be like a throwover, which technically isn't considered one of your core items in a 10 item wardrobe. So we'll come back to that, but I'm gonna put it there for now. How many overcoats do I have? Overcoats don't count though, right? I probably should have looked up the rules a little bit better because <laughs> this is not going well. Okay, I have a couple items over here. I don't know if you can even see me right now that I have to bleach. Anyways, this is gonna be a basic. It's like a, just a plain white long sleeve and the sweaters I don't think count in your 10 because you know you need sweaters to stay warm but I am gonna try to pare down. Uh, so this and then the, there's another, there. Maybe I could add this to, yeah sure why not. Okay I basically just need to figure out the core pieces. So this can go under stuff, this can go under stuff, this can go under stuff. Um, or it can kind of like have its own little moment. And I'm gonna say the same about this white sweater. And I know, yes, this all looks very boring. It's literally just denim and white shirts. That's already nine things. And then I'll do this, this waffle knit. This is my 10 main winter items. This feels good, this feels good. So I'm gonna move this off to the side for now, and then let's try to go through our 10 summer items and then I'll try to pick my extras. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have one pair of pants and then a pair of denim shorts. It's my only pair of denim shorts. I'm like trying to find everything throughout. Okay, then I have this pair of shorts. So that's three and then we have this skirt. Oh, I just realized I have one more skirt that I'm gonna put on the winter pile. So the thing about a 10 item wardrobe, I think I've already said this, it doesn't have to be 
exactly 10 items so if it's 11 that's okay so I'm gonna put that 11th item on there now that I'm thinking about it it's in my bag and I just don't feel like getting it out right now one two three four and now usually tank tops and stuff are not considered part of the like core pile so maybe I will listen to that and exclude them from the core pile hmm okay Sundresses, I think, is the next place I need to go with this. Okay, let's have a moment. Okay, these are just like the regularly occurring wardrobe items that you are having. So definitely this, because I love it, absolutely love it. And then I have my overalls, because that can go with anything. This one too because I really love to wear this sundress as well. Seven, mm, eight, I like this a lot. I like honestly have to decide if I like this enough or not. I think it looks cute. That's all the thought, that's the whole thought. I just have to alter it. There's some stuff that I wanna do to alter it a little bit, but I'm gonna put it in the pile and then alter it. Nine items, let's go this dress too. Because these are the ones that I'm probably just going to wear all the time. Good. No. I'm going to switch you with you. Yeah. That's that's better. That's more summery. Okay. Ten summer items. Now. Let's pick the extras. So there's a couple of in-between items. I would say let's try not to have more than ten extras in each category um i don't know if that's too big of a number but i'm just starting out so whatever i'm theorizing okay this is not make it or break it right now this is just the real and raw situation this is an in-between dress because it can work in the winter as well Oh, uh, well, winter, fall, as well as the spring, because it's pretty nice and light. This is a dress. I really, really don't have many, like, dresses that are kind of nice. And unfortunately, a lot of the dresses that I have that are kind of nice are white. So I can't wear any of them to, like, weddings and stuff, which are starting to happen more frequently in my life now. Because I am in my mid-20s, I guess. So this is a really nice dress that I like a lot, and as soon as I alter it, I would honestly say this might end up replacing one of those dresses, maybe the gingham one, as like a common, everyday kind of wear, because I love this dress, but it needs to be fixed. It's like one of those tie ones, and I just want it to be solid through. So I need to fix that. Definitely gonna keep it. This one, my mom got it for me for Christmas, but I just don't wear it, so I'm gonna have to donate that. This one I got at a thrift store, and I got it tailored to fit me. It's really cute, it's like kinda retro. Um, I don't know if it's exactly in my color scheme, but you know what? I'm not ready to part with it, so that's my own problem. This is one of my other nice-ish dresses, literally for a special occasion. Barely wear it because I don't have many special occasions, but it's good to have at least one dress for a special occasion, you know what I mean? This is a slip. I really don't know about this one. Because the, I don't know, theoretically I could wear it as a dress, but not really at the same time. This is gonna go in the maybe pile. I need to think about this really long and hard. This is a great dress and it served me very well for a specific period of my life where, who would guess it, I went to Greece. So I really like this dress, but I don't know if it's very me anymore. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile and try it on and see how I feel about it. This I also don't know because it's a really cute dress but I just don't have the right bra to wear with it, and honestly, I don't have the energy to get the right bra to go with it because I hate strapless bras. And I don't have any cute, like, lacy bralettes, and I don't feel like getting more bras and bralettes. So I'd say I probably haven't reached for it in over a year, so I'm gonna donate it. Officially, 
This is probably my most favorite dress that I own. It's the most beautiful thing that I've ever bought and I'm in love with it. So this is staying. It's actually uh, the dress that I'm wearing in my profile picture. Um, anyways, this is honestly just like probably gonna end up being a little beach cover up because it's kind of short. So I'm gonna keep it for that purpose and for that purpose only, I think. Okay, so we've pared down one, two, three, four, five dresses. I'm feeling good about that. Feeling good about five. Okay, hello everyone. I've changed angles so that it's more visually interesting. Um, let's go through my tank tops. I may have miscounted the other day when I said that I only had like two, three, four tank tops. I have a few, but I wear them all. So I'm currently wearing like two of them at the same time right now, just cause I wear them like as bras basically half the time. So anyways. Gonna keep this one. Gonna keep this one. Definitely gonna keep this one. Honestly, this might be one of my staple pieces for summer because I just wear this constantly. Same with this, honestly. You can't go wrong with a white tank, honestly. This one will keep. This is kind of like a bralette, honestly. So I might put it over with my bras. Same with this, you could barely consider it a shirt. Tank top, tank top. Keeping those. Definitely keeping all of those. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, ten. But one or two of them is honestly one of those ones that would like fit back there. And I know that I have like two other tank tops floating around, plus the two that I'm wearing. So, uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep them all. I know that I've said this a hundred times. Take a shot every time that I say I wear tank tops every day, but it's just a fact. So I think that having that amount is appropriate for me in my lifestyle. I just found another one, of course. <laughs> uh, uh, two, I found another two. I might have a problem with tank tops actually, more than I have a problem with sundresses. I'm gonna move these three items to my summer item thing. So they'll be like 13, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Those are tanks, shirts. So I have this one shirt. It's like my only nice t-shirt. That's literally my only nice shirt. So I'm fine keeping that. I have this t-shirt, this like kind of tank tee, which I will keep. But I think I'm gonna be getting rid of this one. I just don't wear it. It's too novelty for me. And this one. This is a maybe right now because I could see myself wearing this if I had less options. Like there's three t-shirts in this pile. I used to have a t-shirt problem. As you can see, there's a bit of a theme. Why do you think I'm decluttering? But. I have three t-shirts and like a tank, so I think that that's actually fine. I will keep the Star Wars shirt for now. It will live another day, but I don't know how many more days it's gonna live. This I'm getting rid of. Too novelty for me. I'm sorry, mom. Thanks for getting it for me, but I love Bernie though. Don't get me wrong. I will not have any Bernie slander on this page. Let's go pajamas and assorted. This is a pajama set. This is my like winter pajamas, plus these sweatpants that I'm wearing right now that I actually need to still fix the holes in, and these sweatpants. So I have two pairs of sweatpants and one pair of winter pajamas. That's fine. I have one, two, three, four pairs of pajama shorts, which I do also just kind of tend to wear lounging around the house. Plus this pair of boxers that I also wear lounging around the house. That's four pairs of summer pajamas. Actually, I can get rid of this pair. Um, so I've got three pairs, four pairs of summer pajama shorts, three little winter pajama outfits. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight pairs of workout gear. 
kind of, because honestly, these these can go. This is the first pair of Nike Pros I ever bought for dance. They're they're holding on by a thread, so these ones will go. Um, great. That's not too many pairs of workout stuff. That's fine. It's all under 10, guys. We're under 10 on everything so far of each category. I'm gonna have to very carefully look through my sweaters and sweatshirts, but we'll do that in a second. Pajama shirts. One, two, three, four. I think that's a perfectly adequate number. Actually, I know that there's a fifth one in this pile of dirty clothes, so that's five. This one, I can get rid of. I don't need it. This is just like a thin, long sleeve kind of thing that I can throw on if it's a little colder in the house. This one too, so I have two kind of like loungy long sleeves. So that's fine, that's really okay. And then I have a short pair of painting stuff, so painting shorts and painting shirt. And I have a painting long sleeve and painting sweatpants pair. So yes, I do a lot of house projects and we paint and do that kind of stuff quite often. So it's good for me to have a pair for the winter and a pair for the summer. Let's just go through my swimsuits and see if I even wear all of these still. One pair for tanning, because it's entirely too small for me to wear anywhere else. A good pair for swimming and activities. Another pair for swimming and activities. Just a basic utility black bikini. I don't know where the bottoms of these are. Did I leave them in there? Okay. Um, I actually, I'm gonna have to try this on because I don't know how this fits. So that's gonna be in the maybe pile. Love the color. Like a neon yellow swimsuit. My God, it's amazing. But I need to try that on to see if it even fits me right. This is a fun little tie-dye one. As you can see, I'm a, a big fan of the triangle bikini because it just fits my body in the way that I like and there's no variables. Actually, there's a lot of variables because you can change all the variables and if your body changes, the bathing suit will fit you, which is what I like because um, having to buy bathing suits all the time is so exhausting to me. This is a really old swimsuit that I think it's seen its last summer, so thank you for your service. We appreciate you. So that's what? I have some suits. Five, like I said, it's the golden number for this episode of decluttering with me. Okay, five sports bras and two regular bras and two bralettes. My New Zealand sweater, gotta keep this. I think I'm gonna officially get rid of this black denim jacket just because it really washes me out. I have a big dark denim one that I really don't wear all that much, but I'm gonna offer it to my sibling before I give it away because it's actually super cool. It's my grandpa's and it has like a big leather thing on the back that says Harley Davidson. Not that he ever even, he got it from working on a job. He's an engineer and he worked on a Harley Davidson store. He's not a motorcycle person, but that's besides the point. A sweatshirt that I wear sometimes. This is a little jacket. This is like a fancy sweater. It's the one that I got for the thing. It's like my more fancy thing. So if I need to be warm and fancy, I usually wear that. This, I need to think about this. This is gonna go in my maybe pile because if I don't change the color of this, look how much it washes me out. No, another sweater. This is cute as hell, but it is fraying. It does not look good. So I'm gonna clothes recycle this one because there's really no way that you can fix that. Sweater. This sweater, every time I wear it, I sweat like too much. This I need to alter because I don't know about the color. I really wanna do it like green or something. So this is gonna be a maybe until I fix it. This is super comfy, but does it look good on me? Mm, I don't know. It's from the early 2000s and it's my boyfriend's from probably middle school or early high school so <laughs> it's it a fashion statement maybe not but i like it it's comfortable same with this it's not the vibe in terms of color palette for me so i'm gonna put it in the maybe pile and then see if i can dye it same for this it just washes me out a little too much in my opinion so i'm gonna see if i can dye this as well because they're both really great sweaters. It's cotton, which is like ideal for me. It's hard to find nice quality cotton stuff nowadays without it being an arm and a leg. This I love. Love it, love it, love it. 
So one, six, six sweaters. That is perfectly adequate and reasonable to me. Three sweatshirts and like three zip opens. Except I know for a fact I have one more sweatshirt in here, but I need to bleach it. There's like a whole pile of things that I need to bleach because they're not white enough or they have a stain on them. And things that need to be washed. I thought I was going to be able to fix these. I pulled out the stuff that I need to fix, but the hole is gaping. I'm so sorry. It's not going to happen. It's not worth it. Clothes recycle. This. It's a cute little skirt moment. Yeah, I don't know. Because if I hem it, it'll be the right length and then I'll have like a cute little short skirt. But am I a short skirt girly? I don't think so. I feel bad because my younger sibling bought this for me so that I could like shorten it and wear it and stuff. But also they probably only spent like $5 on it. So sorry, Addy. I'm gonna give it away. It's just not really my style. I need to get these shorts fixed because they are one of my favorite pairs of shorts that exist on the face of the earth. So actually, when I get these fixed, they will also go in my summer pile. All those tank tops are staying there. They're staying in that thing. So this will go in my summer pile and my summer pile will be like 11 pieces. Math. We're mathing it. We're making it math in my head. Also, I forgot about this sweater and this pair of pants. These are also kind of like beach pants. These are dirty clothes. So this is another sweatshirt, which would make it at four sweatshirts, which is perfectly adequate. This would make it at a cut on one more sweater, but I wear this constantly. And then this would, I included this already in the workout stuff. It's just a pair of leggings. This is kind of like a house dress that I wear every once in a while. I need to bleach it because there's stains on it. A sweatshirt with a Tame Impala lyric on it, which I found at Forever 21 of all places. Tank top that I wear constantly. Shirt that I also like to wear. This is another sleep shirt, so that would make it like four or five sleep shirts, which really isn't too bad, but I have to. Just kidding, it would make it six because this is also a sleep shirt and I freaking love it. Maybe I could get rid of one of my other sleep shirts then. T-shirt. So now I'll have three t-shirts, or maybe four, I lost count. Maybe five then, I don't know. This is another thing that I have to bleach. I kind of have to reassess for some of these things. This t-shirt is another just plain white, but it's a little bit longer. It's like a baby tee instead of like a cropped one, and you need to bleach it. This is another long sleeve. I don't know if I even like how this looks and feels on me, so I'm gonna bleach it. Actually, I'm gonna try it on to see first, and then I'll bleach it if I need to. That's gonna go in the maybe pile. And this is not even mine, but I need to bleach it because it needs to be bleached. Um, are we done? Is that it? I think we've gone through everything. We have. Okay, so um, unfortunately I didn't really get rid of a lot of stuff, but at the same time, all of the clothes that I own can fit on my bed relatively flatly. So I don't feel too bad about that. I have less than 10 items of each category besides my core 10 to 12, 10 to 15 pieces per season. It's hard to have a, an extremely, extremely small wardrobe when you live in places with extreme climates, but I feel pretty good about that. I would not say that I have an exorbitant amount of clothing because in terms of each season, I have like a pretty dialed in amount. I feel pretty good about that. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. I hope that it's not like the most boring thing you've ever watched, but also if it was, you're probably not even watching me say this right now. So if you are watching me say this right now, I hope you enjoyed and got a little bit of inspiration. You can judge me in the comments, I don't care. I feel better about my wardrobe than I have in a long time because I feel like in general, it is made up of a lot of pieces that I actually will wear everything. I wear everything that you see here. I don't feel too bad about it. I'm sure that there will be another clothing declutter, but I think going through every single piece of clothing that I own and like genuinely putting it into a category and being like, do I actually wear this? Do I need this? What category is it in? Felt pretty good. So although I am nowhere near an actual 10 item wardrobe, right now in my current circumstances in living in a place with extreme weather, I don't feel too bad about it. So yeah, 
I'm gonna stop talking now and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a beautiful day wherever you are and I'm sending you all my love because we are just trying our best out here. I'll see you in the next one.